Just going to sing one last song. Ooh, I guess we could hit. Sing one last song. Um, this is another song about checkerboards, sort of, in its own way, though. In this case, the person gets sent back to the original checkerboard in the sky, um, but he wasn't a man yet. You don't really have to start crossing the checkerboard until you're a man. Um, then once you are a man, you kind of got to start. You can't just sit there, right? You can, but wouldn't recommend it. Once you die and you get to the other world, I don't think you'll be too happy if you spent your life just staying in the same square. Okay. But that has nothing to do with the song. This is actually a song about a Confederate soldier. Um, yeah. I like Confederate soldiers for some reason. Um, that song is Slipper Snoring. Because, um, I like Confederate soldiers because I feel like during the Civil War, um, there was like another war also being fought um, between like invisible beings. Let's just, I would call them fairies, but I feel like that sounds too silly, but whatever. I feel like there's an, another world, another war being fought simultaneously by fairies. Um, and for the fairies, I would be on the side of the Confederates. Although, you know, for humans, the Yankees, right? But still, for that reason, I like to write songs about Confederates because I feel like they have more fairies on their side. You know, because, I mean, they live in a more agricultural society, so of course they're going to have more fairies fighting for them. Um, but that this isn't a song about fairies, so that's not really relevant either. This is a song about um, a boy who's a Confederate soldier.
some of your history buffs about the Civil War. Um, if you like soldiers, and you like battle plans and stuff, then that's a good song for you. Um, uh, um, 